Cheers, good evening fellow Groove Riders, Will from Wheels and Electrical Services. In tonight's episode, I'm just gonna show you a bit within a bit within a bit, is uh, we just do these LED profiles. So if you just have a look underneath here, Ebs, I'll show you little bits and bobs of how we've done it. Everything from cutting the profile to soldering and a few little tips, so roll the beat. Bye. Yes, yes, if you could do us a massive favour, if you could like, follow, subscribe, and flick my bean, it helps the channel grow. Plus, and all underneath, you've got all Instagram, Facebook, and all that sort of jazz, but mainly on Instagram. This morning is, I'm gonna start on with the uh, lights underneath it. I don't know why, I've started to get in quite into it. I always leave it for Ollie, but obviously being a Saturday, it's me and only, only here. Ebs here, so hello, Ebs. Hello, mate. All oh, right. So what we've noticed is Howlands have started to put bits of wood across the back there, and I've used my tongue and pulled it down the bottom. So what I've noticed is that there's gonna be one there. So what I just said to Ebs is I'm gonna get a 16 mil drill bit and a long extension bar, because obviously you need to come off the wall, don't you? If you don't have that, then you're gonna start scraping the wall up and all that sort of stuff. And I'm gonna try and get them through. And what we've got is we've got a green book plug up here, which I'll quickly show you which is there is what we plug the driver into and what because they've got this little lip here see this little lip here is we're probably gonna i'm gonna bring one down there down that corner and down there and we're gonna have a little dummy bit there that's gonna carry the lead so we don't have to have sticky taps it looks it looks really good doesn't it yeah well we'll show you at the end anyway so right let's get into it but i'm sure what i managed to do i did have it all covered but it's uh falling down is I did manage to drill through the back bottom. As I said, it turned out perfectly, so it's not scuffed inside the units. It's come up, so what we'll do is we'll probably put a couple of sticky pads on the Aurora drivers that we have. I'll show you. The load side does have three ports on it, so we do that. The only drama is I've got to do the soldering in here, where I've obviously got to do it over dust sheets, and we'll probably put a box down as well, so I don't uh, scuff their work tops and all that but yeah we've pulled all this down what i found in the unit was is what what we tend to do but i was a little bit unorganized with this one is that you can get aurora which is the manufacturers which is actually only the next town down and it uh we're, we're we're city yeah. for us and it only costs you a fiber for them to solder it on and by the time you mess around with all the soldering and all that it's uh it's cheaper just to get them to do it but obviously i forgot so we're going to do the best of both worlds so we've got this one which I'm gonna pull through to that one. And then these other two, I'm gonna solder as well, which I'm absolutely below bang average at, but I'm still gonna show you. And they, they never come off, do they, Ebs? They're, yeah. they're always sweet. It's just that I'm not a soldering queen. It's not saying, it's only since this LED and all that, I've started to do the soldering. But as I say, for a five quid a solder, you might as well just get them to do it in ya. Well, if you're organized. Just show you a couple of bits what we do. Ollie showed me this little trick. It don't look too good, but what you do is you just wrap the uh, solder around there. I don't know what type we've got. With solder free, it's one point three. It seems to work. But if you run that along there, yeah, see that tins that perfectly, yeah. yeah. And that's all we're going to do because we're going to cut that down to probably about two, three mil anyway, yeah. And when you come to solder this, so we're using a solder bit. I thought I'd get the old one out, which Ollie is absolutely obliterated, yeah? But what you can normally do with this is you just see these little pots here, they just automatically seem to fill up, yeah? Yeah? And then that just goes through there. You've obviously got to put that sleeve in on there because that's going to be heat shrunk, but I'll probably show you that in a minute, yeah? But then all I'm going to do is cut that down. Cut that down to probably about there. And there. Then that comes around that way. So that's plus and minus. So obviously we're just using the, using the blue. And then that goes like that. This is a bit tricky because for some reason they only had round... Uh, I think this is 0.5 round flex. Where well, usually we have that square stuff, don't we? Where it sits easier, yeah? Yeah. And that's how I do it. No pressure. No pressure. Yeah, that one goes on like that. I might just leave it there, Ebs, because that, that <laughs> one turned out all right, didn't it? Yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm not going to say that, like, yeah, I'm... I'm 
I'm a world champion soul drinking because I'm dreadful at it usually because usually we pay but look that's fine yeah we'll do a little test on it well it's on the, it's on the lid it's already wired because this one's already wired back to there we can't really do that yeah but then that goes over like that you can see that ain't touching oh. The soldering clues, flex and all that. I've done a little short, didn't I? And someone absolutely murdered with me with it. It's like, as I say, I'm not an expert here. It's just that all we quoted for is them crappy little under cabinet lights. I, actually, I think I'm actually giving them these, so it doesn't really matter, you know what I mean? Because it's for a regular customer. Then we just get the solder, uh, the heat gun. And then do that. Right, I'll just quickly show you this driver. So I've obviously taken these covers off. This is double insulated, so it doesn't need enough. So what we do is we take one of the two cores from here into the plug that is also on the end of that cable. And what we've got on these drivers is that you've got three terminals, so each one of these. So I'm gonna try and do that one because that's the shortest one. And then I'm gonna make them off down there and then put them up there turn them on test them before we do the profile and all that so before we get too carried away yeah because uh we have in the past had dud dud bits in this we are we have actually moved away from uh this sort of spotted one but for the time at nights it's all right because it's cheap and all that for the customers but if it's on display like normal halos and all that which if i can find an image i'll put up for you we use uh chip on board which is just uh the chips are closer so you don't get the spots affecting all that but you have to order that in where this is cheap as chips so is the other one really but they just don't they still stock this side right, so i'll just show you the terminals on here so all you've got is plus and minus where we've done the flex this bit actually comes with a bit where it's got the cable retainer so that's not a problem and it comes in nice what i try to do is the, the left hand one then the center one and then the far one on the right hand side so it sits we don't normally screw them down on top you can do it's got bits to do it but we never do and that's how we've done it so they're they're all working so now i can literally do the profile get this sorted i'll probably have to uh redo that plug there because there's a lot of excess cable or i can tuck it behind the unit anyway but that's how we're going to do it and then we're going to move on to that so you know, i always like to get there because we've had it where we've had dub bits and then all of a sudden we get all the profile everything done and then all of a sudden you notice it and this it's a bit unnecessary and sometimes because this is 12 volt and i have the milwaukee 12 volt stuff i just ram it in the battery which no doubt i'm sure i'll show you in a minute of how you do it and you can test it that way which is perfect and also it's perfect for for camping if you wanted to go camping get some of this and then you could just take a 12 volt battery and then you've got a torch for your can 10. i've done that many of time yeah so this bit here because this is aluminium this is the profile that comes from i'm pretty sure it's aurora as well it's nice and thin but what i use is i always use this because this is aluminium it's a proper bind to cut but it cuts through pretty well Yeah, I'll leave the lid on it. You do have to file it up a little bit, but that's okay. And that's how we do it. And I'll show you the next step, yeah? Me. Sorry. Yeah? Yeah. Right, so what I use to stick it up, I just use this two bond mitre stuff that, you know, the uh, the uh, chip is used. I run a small bead, just make sure you don't go too far over. It's all a bit spreadic, to be honest. Yeah. You don't really need much more than that. It sticks to uh, it turns into like concrete sh after a second. Like shit to a blanket. It's fine until you put that the activator or whatever it is on it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. One thing I do advise is you definitely, definitely got to cover the worktops and definitely wear eye protection because you can't. You know, sometimes when Ollie does it. Where this this bit's actually a bit narrow, yeah. So, right so and then I've got the bit there, yeah, yeah. And then obviously I'll get it tucked in there, 
Yeah. That's it, yeah? Yeah. And that is never coming off, is it? No. You'd have to rip that off, yeah? Yeah, and that's it. So, Ebs has just come in to help me for a minute because it's raining. So, see that bit there where it's cut? That's where he's got to cut it. So, it's a little bit short of the edge, but it's, that's actually not too bad, Ebs, is it? Yeah. But we kind of, you know, you can't really do a lot about that. It's got to cut it. That's where that uh, chip on board stuff's better because you've got more you got more spacings to cut it. Where, see, on this one, it's about every two inches, isn't it? And that's why we we would love to prefer that, but they don't stock it and we don't always uh, think to have it. So I'll give you a quick look before we did it. So that's how we do it. So it comes into the corner. Yeah, see, you don't really notice it down that end. Comes into the corner, obviously we tape it up and then we lid it and that's what that dummy bit is. So it looks neat as anything, yeah? I'll show you at the end, lid it. Right, so I'll give you a quick look and that's them all done. Looks lovely, doesn't it? So see the little dummy bit that just goes into there. Nice and simple, so it's all tucked up. This is quite actually flexible, so it does move around, but as you can see, it's perfect. And that, if we come across, this is actually in, uh, enough a day because we're just here testing it all today and uh, commissioning it all. Ebsy's done these first board, so we'll say his first board. We converted the uh, dual RCD to Thing, but it looks really nice, doesn't it? Let's cut the little scuffs, but not a lot you could do about it. Right, thanks for watching, and don't forget if you're going to be anything to be electric, keep it well up the old block.